Okay, uh, in part one of uh, this series on uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we uh, explained the geometrical uh, meaning, uh, interpretation of eigenvectors and eigenvalues and uh, derived uh, what we called is the characteristic equation. Uh, in uh, this video, we're going to have a uh, practical um, hands-on uh, sort of um, experience or demonstration of how to actually find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So for each of these matrices, we're going to find uh, uh, all the eigenvalues and then we're going to find the uh, corresponding eigen vectors we said uh, for two by two matrices we expect uh, uh, a maximum of two eigenvalues so in the first matrix uh, actually uh, this is the matrix that we uh, demonstrated with uh, in the previous uh, video when we looked at geometrical um, considerations or, or, or significance of uh, eigenvectors. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is to derive the characteristic uh, equation and uh, that one is uh, obtained uh, from this equation here. So we just need to work that out and then equate it to zero. So to find this, uh, all we need to do is to subtract lambda from the diagonal entries, do the determinant, and then we're going to have the characteristic uh, polynomial. So here, uh, it's going to look something like this. Then when we multiply the diagonal entries, um, so we've got this times this. Uh, if we take the negative and uh, sort of uh, multiply this one, then we're going to have lambda minus 1 into lambda plus 2. And then this is going to be minus 4. Um, if we multiply this out, it's going to be lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus lambda minus 2. Uh, so maybe let's just do it. So it's going to be lambda squared uh, plus 2 lambda uh, minus lambda minus that. So this thing is going to be lambda squared plus lambda plus 6, which we can factorize going to be lambda plus 3 into lambda minus 2. So if we equate that to 0, that tells us that uh, the two eigenvalues are going to be uh, 2 and uh, minus 3. So let's start with this one. So when lambda is 2, um, how do we find the eigenvector? So um, we find the eigenvector as follows. So remember, A times V is lambda 2V. If we multiply this by i and take it to the other side, then it's a v minus lambda i v equal to zero. So it's a, a minus a lambda i times v equal to zero. Now, this is exactly the same as that, which is exactly the same as this, but not the determinant. So all we need to do to find uh, our first vector, which we're going to call V, 
is to take uh, this value and plug it in here. So we're going to have 1 minus 2, 4, 1 minus 2 minus 2. And then we're going to multiply this by V1 times V2. So we're taking our V to be V1, V2. And then this must be equal to 0, the 0 vector, 0, 0 ray. Okay. Then uh, if we simplify, that's going to be minus 1, 4. Uh, 1 minus 4, V1, V2. Okay. Uh, there are going to be two equations here, but uh, the two equations are going to give us the same information. So if we take the second one, for instance, this is going to be 1 times, going to tell us that 1 times V1 minus 4 times V2 is 0. So V1 is equal to 4 V2. Um, so V, so V uh, is going to be, so V1 here, uh, sorry, so V is going to be, uh, just do this, so remember this is V1, V2, but using this we can write V1 in terms of V2, and then if we fact out V2, um, then that is going to be our eigenvalue. Uh, so V2 is just a scale factor, and so typically we choose uh, V2 to be 1. So that is going to be our eigen vector, which corresponds to lambda equals to 2. So remember, we already saw that in part 1, because we used uh, this matrix as an example, and we said uh, this vector here, is a special vector of that matrix because if you multiply it by that matrix it get it um, scaled up by 2 and we say that 2 is the eigenvalue okay so how about for the other eigenvalue so the other eigenvalue is negative 3 so for negative 3 if uh, we take negative 3 and uh, plug it in here 1 minus negative 3 is going to be 4 minus 2 minus negative 3 is going to be 1 so that means here we're going to have 4 4 1 1 let's call our vector w so w1 w2 we want this to be the zero vector this is telling us that W1 plus W2 is equal to 0. So W2 is negative W1. So therefore W is going to be W1 negative W1, which is the same as 1 minus 1 times W1. If we choose W1 to be 1, then this is simply 1, negative 1, because this is just a parameter. So that is going to be our second eigenvalue com co corresponding to lambda equals to negative 3. All right, so let's go to example B now. So in example B, uh, we have got... Uh, negative 1, 2, negative 1, negative 3. So the characteristic polynomial is going to be negative 1 minus lambda, 2, negative 1, negative 3, minus lambda. Um, this time, uh, multiply both of those by negative. We're going to have lambda plus 1 into lambda plus 3 and then that is going to be plus 2 because it's minus negative 
2. Um, if we simplify this out, it's going to be lambda squared plus 4 lambda plus 5. Mm, equating that to 0. So we can solve this. You can solve it uh, using any method that you want. Uh, quadratic formula is going to work. I'm going to use uh, completing the square. We've got lambda squared for lambda. I'm going to take the 5 to the right hand side. Then if we we'll write this as lambda plus 2 all squared, then we need to add 4 this side. So it's going to be negative 1. If we take square roots on both sides, so lambda plus 2 is plus or minus square root 1, which is plus or minus <coughs> i. So this is telling us that uh, lambda is negative 2 plus or minus i. Okay. Um... Okay, so the um, so if you start with lambda one, take lambda one to be negative two plus i. Then to get the vector, we are going to have to plug this uh, here. So we're going to have negative one minus negative two plus i. Um, then we have 2 here, minus 1, negative 3, minus negative 2, plus i. This is times v1, v2, equal to the 0 vector. Um, simplifying, this is going to be 1 minus i. Uh, and uh, this is going to be minus 1 minus i v1 v2 and then we're going to do the same thing that we did in a um, I'm going to take the second um, row here so that one is saying minus v1 uh, minus 1 plus i v2 is equal to 0. So uh, v1 is equal to negative 1 plus i v2. What we are going to do at this point, uh, which is the uh, equivalent to what we did uh, in the in the first uh, example we're just going to choose uh, v2 let v2 be 1 it's going to write 1 here then if v2 is 1 v1 is minus 1 minus i then we have got our I can vector. Then lambda 2 is going to be minus 2 minus i. Um, if we do the similar uh, substitution this time, we're going to have 1 plus i here, 2, negative 1. So it's going to be minus 1 plus i. So w1, w2. Um, so again, if we use the second uh, row, negative w1 plus negative 1 plus i w2 is 0, it means that w1 is equal to negative 1 plus i w2. If we choose w2, to be 1, then w1 is going to be minus 1 plus i. Now, um, notice that these two are complex conjugates. Okay. 
So lambda 2 is the complex conjugate of lambda 1. And then, interestingly, the eigenvectors are also complex conjugates of each other. So if you just take the complex conjugate of this one, you get this one. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that uh, the complex conjugates, uh, if the um, eigenvalues are complex, we only need to do this calculation. Then if we take the complex conjugate of this, uh, then we get the eigen, the eigen, the second eigen vector. Okay, um, so now let's go to example C. Um, in example C, we have got A equal 5, 1, 5 minus 1, 9 minus 1. To get the characteristic polynomial, gonna have to work out five minus lambda, uh, nine minus one minus lambda. This is gonna be lambda plus five into lambda plus one plus nine. Gonna be lambda squared minus four lambda plus 4, this is lambda squared minus 2 equal to 0. So this time, lambda 1 is lambda 2 is equal to 2. So from the eigenvalue, I'm only going to get one eigenvector. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if I plug in two here, it's going to be five minus two. Then here's going to be minus one minus two. Uh, v one, v two. Uh, this is telling us that. Uh, 3v1 minus v2 is equal to 0. So v2 is 3v1. So if we choose uh, v1 to be 1, v3 is going to, v2 is going to be 3. Okay, for the other uh, eigenvector, in the case of a repeated root, we're going to choose a generalized eigenvector uh, W, which is uh, such that A minus lambda I times W is equal to V. Okay, what this is telling us is that uh, A times W is going to be 2 w plus v so this equation is always going to satisfy, um, hold for this type of eigen vector so if we do that so we're going to have 3 minus 1 9 minus 3 w1 W2. So I want this to be equal to 1, 3, which is the vector which is found above. Okay. So this time, the first equation, so remember the two equations will give us the same thing. It's going to give us this. So W2, for instance, we can write as 3. W1 minus 1 
So if we take W1 as a parameter T, okay, then our vector W is going to be equal to, so remember W1 is T, I'm going to plug in T here, W2 is 3T minus 1. So we can write this as um, 0, negative 1. So these are the terms that do not involve t here. And then the terms that involve t are going to be 1, 3. So that's our generalized vector. And then from here, um, we can just choose t to be any number. And for any t, whatever we're getting is going to be an eigenvector. So, for instance, when t is 0, this is 0 minus 1. When t is 1, this is 1, 2. When t is 2, this is uh, 2, 5. Uh, you can convince yourself that all these vectors here, w0, w1, w2, satisfy this equation here. And uh, they are the only vectors to do that. Um, so they are indeed uh, uh, generalized eigenvalues of the matrix A. All right, uh, moving on to D. So in, uh, in D, we have uh, A equal to 1 half, negative 1 half, 2. So the characteristic polynomial we're going to get by working this out. Uh, 2 minus lambda. So this is just going to be a square. So lambda minus 2 squared. Then this is going to be plus 1 over 4. If you equate this to, if you equate this to 0, then solving this, it, actually we don't have to... Uh, expand this if we just bring the 1 over 4 to this side then if we take square roots it's going to be plus or minus i over 2 <laughs> so our lambda 1 and 2 are going to be 2 plus or minus i over 2 now from what we said in example number B, okay, we only need to work with just one of the eigenvalues and then the other one we can get by simply doing the complex conjugate because the two eigenvalues are complex conjugates. So we're just going to work with one of the eigenvector values, get one eigenvector. <laughs> Then the other one we're going to get by doing complex conjugate. So if we just choose this one, uh, then if we plug it in here, um, so uh, let me just do this. So it's going to be 2 minus 2 minus i on 2, i on 2 here minus, sorry, 1 on 2. And then here, 2 minus 2 minus i over 2, uh, v1 times and v2, 0, 0. This is going to give us i over 2, 1 over 2 here, minus 1 over 2. and i over 2. Yes, just making sure that everything is okay and everything is indeed okay. Then, uh, if we use the second equation, then negative v1 over 2 plus i v2 over 2 is 0. 
So this tells us that V1 is simply equal to IV2. So if we choose V2 to be 1, so we write 1 here, then we plug in 1 there, that means V1 is I. Then straight away, the other eigen vector corresponding to um, corresponding to 2 plus i over 2 here is simply going to be the complex conjugate of this vector here. So that one is going to be minus i1 because the complex conjugate of 1 is just 1. Okay, um, so that's that. Um, what we're going to do now, <coughs> excuse me, is we're going to give you a chance to have a go at uh, uh, E and F. So you can just press pause. So just pause the video, have a go at those ones, and then you can compare them with... Uh, uh, our solution upon pressing play. All right, thank you.